Ed Martell here from the OAI. Today I'm working with Joe Janish, brand new patient. It's the first time we're going to watch him throw on video, but we want to try and break it down so that you can see how, you know, it, you have to look at all aspects of it from different angles so that you can determine where his mechanical faults are, as well as what you can do to try and reduce the stress to his shoulder and his elbow during the throwing motion. So he comes here with a primary complaint of elbow pain, but after evaluating with our BSMA um, full functional screen, you can see that he um, doesn't have shoulder internal rotation, horizontal adduction. Go over and touch your toes for me. Yeah, that's going to be an issue that we're going to address significantly in physical therapy, which if you don't have hamstring flexibility, you're going to go further back beyond the scapular plane to try and make an accurate throw. So what I want you to do is just warm up into that. Oop. Uh, where'd it go? <laughs> okay. Oh, not so hard. Just take a step and throw. So I can already see a couple things. He's bringing the ball through in supination. I'm going to also go in an angle here. I'm going to look from behind, so go ahead and step forward a little bit. So he cups the ball a little bit out. So sometimes over pronation and cupping in the first part of the throw can lead to excessive supination on the way through. And that's what I can see right here from this angle without even slowing it down. His arm is, fall, is falling to the outside. He's too supinated too long into the throw. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to start facing the target. So one thing we have to use, get you to use your chest more in the throw so you're facing the target that way. Both feet. <laughs> Okay, I want you to put the ball right on top of your shoulder right here with your elbow in front of the plane of your shoulder blade. This is the plane of your shoulder blade, this is in front of the shoulder blade. So what I want you to do is from right here, I want you to imagine there's a wall right here. Your arm's going to go up and back like this as you step towards the target and throw. So step to the target and throw. Step and throw. But get your arm up a little bit higher. Let your arm come up. Nope, get that wrist back. Relax the wrist right there, elbow there. Now step and throw. See, he doesn't want to go out over his front leg at all, which is probably a product of his inflexibility in his hamstrings. So what I want you to do is I want you to you let your chest go as far forward as you can in the throw. Step back a little bit, both feet facing exactly towards the target. So if you let them deviate with their feet, that allows them to access more of the mobility that you don't want them to use, and it kind of untrains what you're trying to train. So right here in front, and now what I want you to do is I want you to take a step towards the target and throw. Step. Yep. Do it again. So sometimes tactile cueing is necessary. We try and stay away from it as much as possible because we want them to de develop their own muscle memory. Again. Right there. Step and throw. Go. Okay, try not to throw it into the ground. And as we've said before, anytime you change someone's release point and they've done it a certain way their whole life, you'll end up seeing every athlete we've ever worked with throw towards the ground right away. Sorry about the phone ringing in the background. Throw on the ground, you said? Yeah, don't throw into the ground. Oh, okay. Step and throw. But now let your chest go forward as you do it. Step and throw. There we go. So now what I want you to do is I want you to face me. I want your feet further than shoulder width apart. I want your left toe, the right toe on that line, your left toe in front of that line. Right there. Okay, now put the ball in exactly the same position we did when we first started. Right there. Okay, left arm up. Squat. Rotate away from the target with your whole body. Through your hips too. There you go, right there. From that position right there, I want this ball to stay as close to your head as you have it right now. And now, see, he also doesn't pronate well, too. So let the arm fall back. Now from right there, look at your target. Now step and throw. So he collapses immediately. And that's why you usually will introduce one or two positions that they do well. But you can see immediately makes a compensation when he goes into that or from that position. So now right there. Uh, uh, see where he wants to take his arm? We wanted to show, I wanted to show how all, most of the young athletes, they want to go into horizontal abduction to create velocity. So right here and right here. Squat. Feet further apart. 
Okay, stick your butt out a little bit. Okay, from that position. Don't change this position at all. And then step and throw. Go. There we go. And then immediately threw it into the ground. So you see it all the time. When they've had a release point burned into their brain because they've thrown the way that they've thrown, 95% of the time will have, they'll end up throwing down to the left. Go ahead. Stick your butt out. Rotate away. Feet further apart. There we go. Now right there, from that position, right there, I want you to take a step and throw. Go. Better. So just as a precursor to what we often do, we want to identify what the mechanical fault is and then give positions, strategic positions, and they're not always the same. On our online program, we've broken it down into nine positions that we normally use that we believe will most help athletes that we're not evaluating on our own. But sometimes it's a little bit more internal rotation, a little bit more pronation, uh, a little bit more trunk flexion, a little bit more rotation away from the target at a certain point. But you have to understand that's how you build muscle memory, is put the athlete into that position, have them learn that new kinesthetic awareness, and then do it over and over again until it becomes something that they do without thinking about it. So it becomes involuntary. <laughs>